Hi. So I just found out that schools were going to be closed for the rest of the school year. And that means that I won't get to see you guys in real life until hopefully next fall. And as much as I love seeing you on your morning meetings and seeing pictures of things you've done, I'm feeling really sad. Because I miss you guys already, but now I'm going to miss you even more because I know I can't see you. Um, so I want to do a project with you that will hopefully help feel you a little bit more calm if you're feeling the way that I am. And there is some science that shows that weaving actually does calm people down, it calms you down physically, and it also calms you down mentally. Um, so not everybody has a weaving loom at home. So I'm going to show you how we can make one with things from nature and things you might have lying around the house. This is an almost finished product. Okay. And I made this with sticks I found outside, some pipe cleaners, some yarn, and I started weaving in it. I found pieces of onion grass outside and I started weaving those in. This is not finished yet, but I can keep adding and keep going as much as I want to, or I can say, you know what, it looks good just like it is, I'm gonna leave it this way. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of these. Let me hang it back up. The first thing you're going to need to do is collect some sticks outside. You don't want it to be too huge for your first one, but you certainly can work up to that far. I like to find sticks that are about as long as, hopefully you can see this, from my wrist to my elbow. Okay, and if you can't find individual sticks this way, and you can only find ginormous ones, you can collect the ginormous ones, <laughs> use those muscles, and break them into pieces. Eventually, if you get really good at weaving, you could just leave it huge and have the biggest uh, stick loom ever recorded. So you're gonna need three of these. So I have one, Two, and I guess I have to break another one. Let's see if I can do it better this time. Ready? That's better. All right. You need three sticks. Kind of want them to be roughly the same length, but if they're not, it's not a big deal. And you need three pipe cleaners. They do not have to be the same color. You're going to start with two sticks, and you're going to use a pipe cleaner to twist them together. So you kind of make a little X and you hold it with your fingers and just kind of wrap that pipe cleaner around and around until it feels like you can let go and it won't fall apart. And you notice I didn't just wrap in one direction, I switched it around. And that's what's gonna make it a little bit stronger. So you're gonna do the same thing to connect those two. And then one more time to turn it into a triangle. All right, I have one that's already ready. So the next thing you're gonna need is some kind of string. I have some yarn, so I'm going to pull out as much as I feel like. There's no right or wrong amount. And I'm going to tie it anywhere to start with on your loom. So just a regular knot. Okay. So I have mine hanging down here. And now, you can just wrap it around in whatever way you feel like. 
you can wrap around a lot. You could finish this string and decide you want more wrapped around. You could decide this is how you want your whole project to be and you don't want to weave and that's okay too. When you're done, you're going to use that other end to tie it on so it doesn't come unwrapped and you'll have something like this. Now, I think this is where it gets really fun because you can use pretty much anything to weave. You can weave paper, you can weave string, obviously. You could find some smaller flexible sticks to weave in and out. I used onion grass, you could use dandelions. Anything that fits inside here, you can use to make your weaving. And weaving is just when you go in and out and in and out and in and out like an A, B, A, B pattern. You can also say it like up and down and up and down and up and down. A, B, A, B pattern. So collect some things that you want to weave onto your loom. I am gonna take this string up here. I'm gonna start with this. You can tie it on to start if you want, but you don't have to. And you just put it between some of those other pieces of string that you have. I'm not going to think about it too much because the whole point, the whole reason that weaving calms you down is it for forces your brain to concentrate on what your hands are doing. And actually, a lot of people think of things like sewing or using fabrics or textiles as like a girl thing, but it's not just a girl thing. It's for anybody. It's almost even more calming for a male brain than a female brain. Okay, so once you get to another side, you can wrap it and go back. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. Um, I also have some leftover fabric that I can weave in. So I'm going to go up on top of one string, down on another, under that string, over that one. Okay. No right or wrong way. So like I said, you can add as many details to this as you want, or you can leave it really simple. And when you're done, I think they're really cool if you attach a string onto them. And you can hang them on the wall, kind of like I had this over here. But they would also be really cool in your magic windows if you made one of those with me. All right? Have fun. Let yourself relax. Try to take some deep breaths. We will see each other in the fall, okay? Love you.